And right here was where you did your training, right? This was the first feature we put in. So, yeah, it's gorgeous. Very popular, along with the cascade bubbling rocks, we put in a lot of wood. Got some drilled bubbling rocks over yeah. here. You can actually see the morning steam coming out here. So you did a pondless waterfall to show them how to build a pondless yeah. waterfall. This is the only pond on the display. We have one bigger kit than this. This is the largest or the tallest waterfall that Tessie has ever built. Wow. Multiple displays just to really set things off. Wow, that is gorgeous on the backside. So the backside the berm. All of these species are built out of weathered limestone except that one. Just do it. Have you tasted it? I did. It was and good, but you, I don't know what to expect because I never had okay, it. Okay, well, I will tell but, you what I think. No, I'll tell you what piece to get. So okay. This one right here. Okay. Poppy seed kuchen. First time making it. Looks pretty good. Mmm. There's my grandma. <laughs> I'm not sure and you look me. nothing like my grandma. <laughs> this is fantastic. It was hard to figure it out. But, but you did it. Thank you so much. Can I play? Can I play? No. Can I play? No. <laughs> Heritage House Coal Yard and Landscape Center. On the other side of this is an incredible water feature that you're about to see. So this is the drawing right here of what you built out here, Ben, with the tractor in there. And then this is the room that everything happened. Yeah. Was she even born when you built this? No. Ah. <laughs> so this was one year ago, and how old is she? She was born in March, so what? Seven months. Seven months. You want to introduce me to the family? This is my wife, Pauline. Uh-huh. Daughter, Regina. Hi, she Regina. will be two in a couple of days. Oh, wow. And this is Hadassah. Hadassah was born Hadassah. in March, so that makes and, her seven months. And Hadassah fell asleep in my arms last night. Yes, she did. <laughs> and is this your first time, Paulina, seeing this? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go check out the water feature that you put in. And right here was where you did your training, right? So Tussie did a contractor yeah. training event. We had all kinds of people here and talked to them about how to build beautiful water features. This might be the best vlog I've ever made with these kids and your <laughs> wife. <laughs> and then we also want to see Nova. Do we see Nova, yeah. Sydney? So look yeah. at Nova. Look at Nova. Nova. 11 weeks old, and it's kind of a doodle. So what kind again? It's a cavapoo. She's a cavalier spaniel with a poodle. Oh, cute puppy. <laughs> oh, she just loves you. So there is the sunrise. <laughs> and this is the first time you've been back for in a year yes. since you built it. We talked about coming up here all summer, and it just hasn't of happened. Of course, until I get in town. And I'm Greg Witzak the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Witzak the Pond Guy. And it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle or inspire people at a place like the Tartscape Contractor to live the aquascape lifestyle, right? Yes. All right, so how are we going to start here, buddy? <laughs> Where do we even begin? So this was the first feature we put in. Okay. The zipper copper balls cut out. So, yep. Yeah. Gorgeous. Very popular along with the cascade bubbling rocks. We put in a lot of those. That's a one day build. Yes. You got the aqua blocks down here for yes. something that big. Just overflows. I love, absolutely love the team finish of this, the colors of this. Anybody can picture this in the front entrance yeah. of their house. We do a lot of entrance ways. Yeah. They're simple. Even backyards, if someone doesn't want the maintenance of a pond, it's like, I want the sound of water. So it started with this. Yep. Was there yep. always a plan to do everything? Did they go all full uh, bore? There was a plan, but after a while, it was just every man to himself. Okay, okay. So we got some drilled bubbling rocks over yep. here. Uh -huh. That's another very popular entrance way. Just add the sound of water to a hardscape outdoor in this space. And they wanted to do this to basically inspire contractors to use the materials that they That's sell. Right. They sell boulders. Yeah, they do sell boulders. They wanted to get in the hardscape industry, and then they're like, well, we're going to come do their displays. We're going to put in water features, and they add right. that to their lineup so, as well. You can actually see the morning steam coming out here. It's uh, 50 degrees out. Perfect for shorts. I am the pond guy. <laughs> Probably warmer than the air. Yeah. Both of these in probably in a day, right? Yeah. Okay, so this was a training event. Yeah, it was Weston's idea. He went and put out, hey, we're gonna teach people some of the do's and don'ts of water features. It was just a training. How many are. people showed up? I think we had 20 people. Nice, from and, all over, right? Oh yeah, we had people from California and <laughs> Texas, yeah. So you did a pondless over. waterfall to show them how to build a pondless yeah. waterfall. Basically, Reynolds had it up this one, and people could jump between this one, and Weston and I were doing it on the The advanced one, one over yeah, there. they could go back and forth. And we talked about some of the rules that we follow to build naturalistic looking water features. Well, speaking of rules to follow, look naturalistic water features.
All right, so what do we got here? This is the only pot on the display. So one of your kits, right? Yeah, it's loaded. 11 by 16 with a 12 foot stream. We have one bigger kit than this. So is this part of the trading day as well, or is this different? I think Reynolds was also working on these as so well. So Reynolds put in a pond and a pondless and for the displays. We were working over there on that big showcase. Okay, let's that's see. That's a custom feature, that's not a kit. Okay, let's see the piece de resistance. And how this, did this all come about? Yeah. This is the largest or the tallest waterfall that Tussie has ever built. Wow. By like two inches. Well, is that why Weston said he had the biggest rock he ever put in? Yes. We had a very big oh, wow. machine sitting up there on the mound. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Uh, this was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Fun to see it running, huh? Yeah. See, I saw it run, but it was just started up. The water wasn't clear. <laughs> Weston was saying it almost broke the strap. It did. Look, that one on the right, super big boulder. I think he said it was like nine tons. Yeah, it's a lot. We yeah. had a 320 cat. It's a big machine, and uh -huh. it could barely lift it. We had to take the bucket off so it could lift it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had brand new straps, but there was a sharp edge on that boulder, and yeah. it ripped it. And it we were just egg. swinging it in there, and all of a sudden, the thing comes falling down. Wow. Oh. Jelly knees after that. So did you do all the prep work and then do the finish with all the contractors here to show kind of an advanced um, Yeah, the basin was in, the liner was in, and then we basically were setting boulders and talking about how we build water features. Yeah, yeah all the prep work was done. I think well, there were still pumps. So what do you think that is? Maybe nine feet tall, high waterfall from here? No, I don't think it's that high. Well, I can tell you one thing. I am standing here and I am just under six feet tall and that thing is definitely put over my head. Oh, you're so. saying totally. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Way. Oh yeah, for sure, nine feet. I thought you were talking about that top fall. From right here, it's gotta be nine foot tall high waterfall. I thought they had said this well. But it I could be. Sure. Look at this. And then this is the tractor. So was this always the idea to put a tractor up here? That was his idea. I think that he said that was his grandfather's. Wow. When they started the mining company. So this is a mining business that just became a hardscape yeah. supplier. That's right. And they wanted to really emphasize things, and that's why they put this out. Yeah, yeah it really is just a standard pondless, except we have much, much larger rocks. We put in an underground basin down in there, okay. 10 by 15, underground basin, three SLD 5 to 9 solid handling pumps are down there. And we have plumbing running up down here to two spillways. Are the spillways? Here or are they vertical? They're not vertical. There's two of them. There's one here and then there's one over there. Okay, so this is how well it's hidden. Yes, I can't even see them. There's one down. here and there's one, one here. Right here. It could actually be three, I can't remember. <laughs> two or three spillways. But they're so well hidden. That's how you hide it, right yes. there. Yep. You can't even see where the water emanates. It just blows out. But it diffuses the water, which is the whole point. And then you have that sheer waterfall drop there. Just the veil falls. It's got to be lit up at night, too, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's lights all over this thing. Love to see it. Right. One of the things that's interesting with these type of water features, the super big boulders, you might spend an hour setting one of these boulders. If you look at it, there's only like 12 rocks in this whole feature. Right. And that's a good tip. The less stones, the better. So, so many times you see waterfalls that don't look natural. It's because the contractor or the homeowner put lots of little rocks. The less rocks are better. So, like you said, they're big rocks. There's probably a dozen rocks in this entire waterfall display for a 10 foot plus tall waterfalls. So, you're impressed? <laughs> That's crazy. Finally, I see what you see in them. Yeah. <laughs> this was not on the drawing. We just I love it because you need to walk hey, up there. We can interact. Why don't we bring them down the other yeah, side? Yeah, because I guarantee people. So should we go ask Sydney about yeah, it? Yeah, I'd like to. I wonder how much traffic it gets. Oh, are you, there's one more? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But wait, there's more. See, so you guys find this stuff out at the same time as I find this stuff out. So multiple displays just to really set things off. Wow, that is gorgeous on the backside. So the backside of the berm put in all big waterfalls. Beautiful. Are built out of weathered limestone except that one. That's a sandstone mountain boulder. There's all the mechanics underneath the fake rock. You got the automatic dosing system, the iron gen, the lights. Yeah, the, the lights are all in one transformer. Yeah, once again, spillway right up here. Completely hidden. A piece of driftwood and some moss. It just makes the water look like it's emanating right out of it. Come back.
back and visit your work, huh? This is super awesome. I love how that turned out. Can you just see how that thing broke off of this main frame and fell down in here? That's right. Just like God would have done it. Yep, that's right. I love the plants and the moss. Look at that beautiful Japanese maple. Wow. So this has only been in here for one year, so it's just going to continue to mature with age. That the morning dew, you gotta love the iPhones. I mean, come on, are you kidding me? Get all the way in here and get it to focus. Okay, Miss Office Manager Sydney. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. Okay. Can you explain this process, what happened here a year ago? Yeah, absolutely. So basically, we wanted to diversify. It was just a full yard to begin with. We wanted to bring in hardscaping, landscaping materials to stay busy in the summer. We got linked with Tussie Landscaping through E.P. Uh, Henry. Okay. And the, the hardscape uh, supplier. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the hardscape supplier. They came in, did a quick, you know, kind of tour of the facility, brought their drones in, all of their really high tech, I don't even know what it is, computer simulation of what they could do. Basically, it seemed like a week later, they were in here, in and out. I think it was two and a half weeks that they did everything that you just saw out there, start to finish. Right. It was your stepdad that owns it, right? Yeah. Was he yep. happy it was with it? Son of it? Oh my gosh. He was so thrilled. He was here every single day. We had people come. Some of our employees would come and vlog it themselves. And one of them made him a scrapbook of start to finish every single day, like everything that was done from daylight to dark. He cherishes it. I mean, it's at home on his nightstand. He just absolutely loves it. And everyone that comes in this, this, this is our corporate office as well. So every meeting he has here the first thing out of their mouth is wow that is beautiful landscaping out there well, it, this it, is baby. and you said that when you did that the whole town was talking about it so it was a great way to introduce yourself to a new business model which was the hardscape supply and absolutely the, absolutely everyone that comes in is like do you sell these things where can I get these things you know tell me more about it and it's so great off of 219 which is our main highway and the high school and the middle school right across the road we get so much foot traffic through here and uh, didn't you say that like the kids come over and get like prom pictures and stuff they got prom pictures we've had senior pictures we've had. People got engagement pictures here already. <laughs> That's um, not bad. Yeah. Did you hear that? The high school comes over and gets prom pictures here. No way. So you're happy with the water features. Oh, I'm so happy. They're absolutely amazing. Tessie's amazing. All you guys. Just incredible. Fantastic. Thank you, Sydney. You're welcome. I love my job.